Hello, good afternoon. My humblest apologies for being a few minutes late today. I uh, was eating my lunch and <laughs> charging my phone and the time just flew away on me. So I apologize, but hopefully we'll have some friends joining in today. I know it takes a few minutes to find the feed, um, but Tuesday afternoon each week, I've been doing it for quite a while now on Tuesday afternoons around 2 p.m. I love to share some stamping inspiration. So I normally call it Tuesday at two. So, but then I realized that 2 p.m. my time is not always 2 p.m. wherever you are watching. So that's why I kind of say 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so here I am, if you are hopping on to watch, I love it when you comment and like and just let me know you're there. It makes me feel like I'm talking to friends and sharing with friends um, rather than just on my own here. So there's lots going on in the Stampin' for Fun Craft Cave. Hi, Diane. Um, so I've been busy, busy, busy uh, because my goal, I'll see if I can meet this goal, but unfortunately I had to cancel my live weekend retreat, um, which would have been on the weekend of April the 17th. So we didn't really cancel it per se, but we turned it into a retreat in a box online with some online components just for fun. Um, so then I really, when I thought about it more, I was like, oh, I have to buy boxes. I've never had to buy boxes for my retreat in a box because um, most people attend the live weekend and only a few people get the box, which means I always had enough boxes in my craft cave um, from my Stampin' Up! shipments. But because now everybody who would have been at my live retreat is pretty much on the retreat in a box, I realized I did not have enough Stampin' Up! boxes to ship out my retreat weekend in a box. So I had to actually order boxes. It just felt wrong to me because sometimes I have so many boxes coming out of my ears. Um, so it was very exciting yesterday all the boxes arrived i realized i have to actually assemble them obviously i don't know why i didn't think about it that they don't come assembled but then the other thing so i bought boxes and i kind of bought these little bags that i'm hoping i can put the little treats and pillow gifts in but i did not buy packing tape like i have to tape everything up um so i'm kind of getting myself geared up to to try to go out to a store to buy packing tape I'm going to try to do it at the same time as when I get groceries or go to the post office or something because I'm sure just like you hi oh it's so good to see you guys popping on hi Kathy hi Emily hi Bev and Barb yay it's I get to chat with friends um so yeah I, just like you guys I'm sure trying not to go out trying to just stay at home hi Paulette yes we are well um, but yeah, when I run into things, situations like this, I'm like, oh no, I need to, need to get packing tape. I didn't think about ordering packing tape at the same time that I was ordering my boxes. And when, so I just ordered them from Uline, but the shipping is something like $37. So I didn't want to just order packing tape for $37 shipping. So I might have to venture out to a store. Um, so I don't know, like some of you guys, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I, I'm developing this like social anxiety, like this fear of going out <laughs> and stepping outside. Um, so it's like I gotta kind of psych myself up. I'll probably make a list of everything I wanna do at the store so that I can get in, get out. Um, but I'm gonna need to do it soon because my goal, oh, I think I got distracted. Anyway, my goal was to get these boxes to the post office by Thursday. So there's a lot of retreat in the boxes that have to go to the post office. And perhaps the post office person will not be happy with me because I won't really be able to run in and out because I will be dragging a cart of boxes with me. So we'll see how that goes. I could research, maybe I'll get my wonderful husband to help me research there might be a way to click and ship, like where I can print all the labels from home and um, maybe maybe they can pick it up from my porch. I will look into that. But I used to love to go to the post office, like I'm developing a friendship with the post office people but because I deliver stuff a lot. But now I, I have more stuff to deliver since all the classes are 
take it to go packets. Um, oh, Carrie says she can get me packing tape. Oh, you have a guy. Tell me more about your guy and the packing tape. Yes, that would be lovely because I have a lot of boxes to pack now. Um, anyway, my goal is to get these boxes out on Thursday. And the reason why I want to do it Thursday is so that I can kind of rest and relax over Easter weekend, celebrate Jesus and not worry about packing boxes. Although packing boxes will still be a joy for me. Let me show you, I think it was last week's um, last week's video was it last week's video when i showed you that cute little bag one of the little treats that um the retreat in a box attendees are going to receive so let me show you um what it looks like now because i showed you one and then now i had to make all the other ones and i've used a variety of paper um all from the same pack um but i've got a whole bunch of these now look at in all different designs so that's what i showed you guys how to make last week right did anybody else make make any last week see i changed up some of the colors and the paper and um anyway so my i'm very happy i think all my little gifties are done and we're just about ready to pack them in the boxes and then i can uh sorry my chair keeps shrinking down do i look like i'm shrinking okay and uh and then that way we can uh, It'll be filled with love, these boxes, but um, that way I can feel like they're on their way and my hope is that everyone will still get their box in time for when we would have actually gotten together on April the 17th. And even though we can't craft together and enjoy the ladies retreat weekend together in person at the hotel, I'm hoping we'll still be able to connect online, still show each other what we're crafting and that I can still hear um, hear about how everyone's doing and hopefully that'll be it but anyway that's what's been lots of busy activity going on in the craft cave and you know got to get my children involved because too much tv too much tv they may as well work on their eye hand coordination and help me punch and cut and everything don't you think <laughs> okay so great to see you guys oh nadine hopped on great okay so what is the news oh kathy's gonna do porch pickup thank you yeah so i i think some people said they would do porch pickup so um i'll, I'll just put everyone's name and everybody will know which box to pick up okay so um i always like to start with some announcements and then i will dive in and do some stamping for you guys i think we can all enjoy some happy crafting activity just some happy crafty inspiration and hopefully the inspiration will help you to take out your supplies and do some stamping and crafting at home because it is a great activity to do when we're on isolation here um, so a few announcements those of you who are relatively local and want to do a porch pickup of um, any crafting kits no time is what is it no time like the present to try out the um, crafting kit in a box everything is inside you need to create um, the project of the month so you can um, certainly become a subscriber one month three months six months try it out um, be a month to month subscriber and I can get you signed up for that or if you just want to just pick one up from my porch I actually have several I might be a hoarder of paper pumpkin kits I just might <laughs> but who's saying uh, I just love having them at home I don't know why I just think oh it's perfect to take on vacation it's perfect to give as a gift it's... so anyway I hoard these little things so but now is the time to not hoard as much and maybe if you would like to just pick up one they're just I'm just doing $30 for a porch pickup if you want to have something to do with the kids or if you want to do on your own I've got quite a few different designs so I have this one which is like tags and bags and see how everything is packaged inside even the jewels the twine oh by the way that beautiful seam binding ribbon it's very delectable it's it curls so beautifully it's soft anyway lovely and so the kit includes what you need to make the project in there so I have several of these if you're just looking for something to do um, with the kids or looking for something to do to pass the time oh I'm glad Natalie yes he sent me an email saying that your your daughter was so excited about the kit that you guys picked up from me so I'm so glad so um, I do have a few different ones so let me know if you're interested and I can tell you 
which ones I have. So here's another one. This one actually might be good for Easter and spring. See, it's got some lovely floral ones. And now is a great time to be sending cards because um, it's just a it's just a great low tech way to connect and bring a smile to someone's face, especially people who are isolated at home. I mean, we're all isolated at home, so it's so nice to get some happy mail. So um, I've got spring ones, I've got birthday ones, I've got, even got Christmas ones. So uh, if you're interested in that, let me know. I can either sign you up as a Paper Pumpkin subscriber so that you can get a box every month or prepay for a few of them. Or you can just pick from what I have in my stash and um, grab one of those off my porch. Okay, so that's one announcement. The other announcements, uh, last call for the Beautiful Moments class. So that is using the gorgeous um, stamp set. Do I have a picture of it? Anyway, if you're on my newsletter list, you would have seen that and so I had designed that class in anticipation that people might need Mother's Day cards or cards for women who are mothers or cards for women and celebrating women because I feel like Mother's Day is not just about mothers it's even women who are not mothers but have a nurturing you know just that nurturing um, personality and all of that we just want to honor them usually we should honor them all year but um, especially during Mother's Day so that's why I designed that beautiful moments class and of course it's going to be a take it to go it is going to be an online class and so the class fee is $45 it includes the stamp set the gorgeous stamp set includes all the pre-cut card pieces the embellishments um, so and we'll probably meet online I'll do video tutorial of how to assemble the cards some tips and tricks on how to stamp them and and you can join in live on that or just watch the recording later okay so it's last call for that the class the live class is actually like April 29th but all my RSVP dates are getting pushed earlier so that I have time to mail out the packets ahead of time okay so that's that announcement and I guess that's it. Shall we do some stamping? Are you guys excited to find out? Oh, if you got my newsletter, you might already have found out. So each month I like to highlight one product. So I call it my product of the month. So we're in a new month now, we are into April. And so I've decided that the product that I'll be showcasing all month is this very cute witticism stamp set. Can you see it there? Okay, so this stamp set I'll be showcasing all month um, on my Tuesday at 2 videos. So each week on Tuesday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard, I will be showing a project that I make using the stamp set so you can see how versatile it is. Um, I thought it would be a fun one to do because it is, uh, it's got a variety of sentiments and it's just fun. And I think at this time, we need something fun. Who's with me? <laughs> Who's agreeing with me? So uh, make sure to um, tune in each week on Tuesday to see what the um, project is. Anyone can watch. This is a public Facebook page, so anyone can watch and see what the project is each week on Tuesday using this stamp set. Um, and so my April online ordering special is related to this stamp set. Um, if you place an online order on my store in April, you will get four tutorials um, of the cards that I'm making with all the measurements and everything like that. And if your order is $50 or more, it's you'll get basically the witticisms class in the mail. Um, I will cut all the pieces for the four cards and send you the embellishments and then you can make the cards as well. Okay, so that is my thank you for um, taking advantage of the online shopping option. My store is open 24 seven and uh, the website address is just genevieve.stampinup.net. Oh, I'm getting text messages. Okay, so it's genevieve.stampinup.net. And so when I turn the camera over, you'll see there's a host code that you use in April so that I know that you are in for the April online ordering special. Yes, I hope everyone is well. Okay, so let's flip this camera around and go for it. Hopefully, you can see everything there. I hope I didn't make you too dizzy by doing the switcheroo here. 
I am going to see if I can plug in my phone at the same time. I'm really worried I'm going to run out of battery. Okay, so let's turn this on and see if I can get rid of a bit of that shadow for you. Okay. Whoa, Genevieve needs glasses every time. Okay, so why don't we get cracking with this stamp set? I'll hold it up since it's the first time this month that I'm showing you. Can you guys see that okay? Um, they're all like little punny sayings. So today I think we'll use the little strawberry one and let's get started with some stamping. Here it is. So if you see anything you like, of course you can shop on my online store and just remember to use that host code because then you'll get the free class in the mail which is uh, showing the cards that I'm going to be making each week on Tuesday. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using our Whisper White Thick cardstock. And um, as usual, I'm just going to cut it normal size. So now our Whisper White Thick works great for card bases. Um, we also have just a regular Whisper White, which is great for the layers on top, but for the card bases, it's just a little stiffer, a little firmer. And we're gonna cut it in half at the five and a half inch mark. And then we're gonna turn it around at four and a quarter. Okay, and so, and then I used the scoring tool on this trimmer um, to just give a little bit of a score mark there and many people sometimes ask me like how do you know which way to fold it so basically the part that you've indented with the scoring tool is on the outside and the bumpy part is on the inside okay and then that will be our card base actually I'm not going to take this away oh I did pre-cut it yay me okay so the next thing I'm going to do is take a layer so I think we can move this. Sometimes I do pre-cut, sometimes I don't, so I didn't know if I still needed it. Okay, so this is the lovely lipstick. Oh, and this is a good reminder for me to tell you that our in colors um, will be leaving more, more likely than not. It's pretty much standard that these in colors from the previous two years they only stay for like two years and then they leave. So there's one more. Where's the lovely lipstick guy? So if you guys love these bright primary colors, now is the time to get them before they disappear. Um, or if you already have the colors, but you want to make them last, make sure to order the re-inkers or, you know, make sure you have enough card stock and things like that. Now is the time to get this stuff. So, um, because pretty much guaranteed these colors will be retiring when our new catalog comes out in June, which probably will be here before we know it. Um, okay, so we're going to use the lovely lipstick today. Let me put these back so that I don't have them all over my table and create a big mess. Although there's already a big mess, so who am I kidding? Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna use the witticism stamp. And as I said, I'm gonna use the strawberry one. So, um, the thank you very much. Okay, and then I'll just pop it onto a block. Hi, Kathy. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then this is kind of a fun way to kind of create a tone on tone background. So I'm using the lovely lipstick cardstock, which is, um, did I tell you the measurement? It's three and three quarters by five inches. Three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm going to use the coordinating lovely lipstick ink pad. Okay, and the key with stamping is you don't have to push really hard on our ink pads. Our ink pads are super juicy and they are um, great. So you don't have to worry about um, pushing really hard. I just do a tap, 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 okay? And then I'm actually doing this as a bit of a background. Okay, hopefully you can see that. I'm kind of being 
a bit random with it. Okay, move this out of the way. Okay, it just gives something fun in the background. There you go. Hold it up. Can you see that there? Whoa. Whoa. I don't know what I touched, but something crazy happened. Okay, hopefully you're still with me. I, you know why I'm touching my screen? Because last week we had our Team Stick meeting, and we did it online. And I had Kevin um, kind of watching the feed with me so that he could help with the raffle tickets because there were so many people online. And then he was trying to give me tips. He's like, when you hold it up, you have to like refocus your camera. And I'm like, how do I refocus my camera? I don't know what to do. And he told me to tap my screen, but I just tapped my screen and something bad happened. The screen went all white. So maybe I'll just have to practice. So in the meantime, I'm sorry if it's blurry, but I just wanted to show you what the background looks like. So I just kind of created a tone on tone background and I will put that here. Where's my snail adhesive? Hopefully this one hasn't run out. So we'll just put a little bit there and that'll be our first layer on the card. Okay. And then um, I pre-cut a little square here um, using the Framelits. So these are the um, layering squares framelits. And so you get a whole bunch of different squares, not just squares, but also kind of like scalloped squares. Okay, so I cut out the white using just the regular square, and then I cut out the lovely lipstick using the scallop square. And um, But there's tons of sizes. These are not the only sizes. And then that's how I got these pieces. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean, because I have to clean the stamp because I already just stamped it up in lovely lipstick. So to clean, I just stamp off the extra ink and then I'll use the uh, stamp and scrub here. And if you can see, I don't know if you can really see, but there's like little teardrops in one corner and there's like a sunshine in the other corner. Um, so that's how I know which side is the wet side, which side is the dry side. And then I use my Stampin' Mist and just spray a little bit on here. So I always try to get off as much ink as I can. Then I do the cleaning. And the reason why this mist is so good, it actually has a conditioner inside so that it helps your rubber to stay in good shape. And then you dry it on the other side. Okay, so now the lovely lipstick color is gone and we can now stamp it in another color and I'm going to stamp it in black. So I'll use our, just the regular Memento Black ink and stamp. So can you think of someone who would love to receive a thank you very much card? maybe who has a cheerful personality and would love to be brightened up. See, it makes me so happy to stamp. Look at how crisp and cute that is. Okay, and then I'm going to take a scrap piece of paper here. Um, let's see. Do I have a scrap piece of paper? If I look on my full floor, I'll probably find a scrap piece of paper. Because um, it seems a shame. You guys will be horrified seeing me cut up. See? If you just look on my floor, you will find a scrap piece of paper because I had didn't want to cut up a brand new piece if I didn't have to. So what I'm going to do is stamp again on my scrap piece. Okay. And then um, just waving it around to dry it a bit. I'm going to color this little little strawberry. So um, one of my favorite coloring tools is the blends markers, these alcohol-based markers. If you've been watching Tuesday at 2, you'll know. You'll see me use these all the time. So I'm going to use the lovely lipstick blends marker. I love how everything coordinates. I'm using the light. So the blends markers come in light and dark. So I tend to go in a circular motion here and color in my strawberry. Okay, and then 
I feel like the shading on the artwork kind of asks me to color it a little, do a little bit of shading. So I'm going to use the Lovely Lipstick Dark to kind of do a little extra shading in here. Okay. Oh, I went over the lines. That's okay. It's handmade. No problem. And then uh, let's do the... Let's do the top here. I don't know which green I should use. Maybe an old olive. Do I have an old olive here? And I'll do the little stem in green. Okay, it's so therapeutic to color. And it's especially rewarding when you use our blends markers and you get such a clean, clean lines, clean uh, coloring. See, if I was using the water-based markers, you would probably see some streaking there, but the blends markers, the alcohol markers, they make it so nice and crisp. Okay, so let's uh, do some fussy cutting here. So one tip, if you haven't seen me fussy cut before, I actually don't fussy cut a lot, but the one of the tips that I heard is that you're actually moving the paper rather than moving your scissors. So... Um, that kind of helps with the fussy cutting. Okay, so you can just kind of keep your scissors going the same way and it's actually the paper that moves to help you get your your item cut out. Okay, so let's do that and then we'll have a little bit of extra dimension on our card because we're going to pop this strawberry right on top of oh done better there okay and then we can pop it right on top and so to give it a little extra pop I'm going to use our Stampin dimensionals and it, the berry's pretty little so maybe I'll use one of our mini stamping dimensionals and pop that guy up okay there you go okay so it just gives a little extra 3d dimension and then we'll Put it right on top of the lovely lipstick square that I've pre-cut out, the scallop square. So it's just like a hint of a border there. Isn't that cute? What do you guys think? Makes me happy. And then so I have pre-cut a piece of designer series paper. It actually comes from this paper pack here. It's called the Garden Lane Designer Series Paper Paper Pack, Designer Series Pack. Okay, so there's all, there's all different shades of green in this, but I took uh, one of the pieces from there. I'm going to use this side. And uh, I thought it was nice to kind of match the strawberry because it's like it's in a strawberry, in a field or something. It just made me think of nature. This would be, I guess it's a little early, maybe next month, end of next month would be when it's strawberry picking season. Gosh, I hope we can get out by then. Nobody knows. Okay. I'm going to try and stay hopeful and hope that I can go out strawberry picking or something. Okay, this season and enjoy summer and get out. We'll see. Okay, so I cut this at two and a half inches by three inches. And I'm going to put some of our um, tool ribbon. Okay, so this is our Whisper White tool ribbon. Polka dot tool ribbon. Take some. Now, if you're just joining in, just a reminder that I love to read your comments and I do give out just little raffle prizes just to say thank you for commenting and enjoying with me. So make sure to introduce yourself. You might have a chance to win a small prize. And then of course, if there's anything you like, you are always welcome to shop on my online store or message me. But if you do shop online, um, just remember to use this host code um, on my website because you'll get, uh, if your order's $50 or more, you'll get the make and take supplies for this witticisms um, class that I'm doing. So each week on Tuesday, you'll get to see me make something with the cute witticism stamp set. So this is this week's project. Okay, I just wanted to tie a knot. Having some fine motor skill issues today. Let's see. Okay, so, what? okay, in case you didn't catch that, the, the way I do it is I kind of go around first and then I slip another piece in and I just tie a regular sort of 
start or not. I think I cut this piece too small, but let's see if I can nab it through there. Okay, so make sure. What do you mean not in Newfoundland, Maureen? You don't do strawberry picking in Newfoundland? <laughs> okay, there you go. There we go. So it just gives kind of a pretty delicate little look with the polka dot tulle ribbon. And then we'll pop that on top. Can't decide if I want it flat or raised up. I think I'll, I'll just go with it flat. Okay. Not in May. Oh, the strawberry picking wouldn't be in May. Yeah, sometimes here in Southern Ontario, we'll do the strawberry picking in late May. Okay, so remember this that we stamped earlier? Now we can just put that right on top and finish up the card. Okay, so that's today's project. And if you would love to get the make and take supplies, just remember you get them absolutely free just with uh, shopping online using this host code. That's my April online ordering special. Oh, did I do that a bit crooked? Oh, well, it's handmade. Ta! -da! <laughs> okay, and then this is where you can write your message, share it with your friends. Um, there's so many people to thank right now. Uh, so many things to be grateful for. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my project using the product of the month today, the Witticism stamp set. Here's the little card. And then, uh, oh, I remember there was one more thing I wanted to remind you guys about. Um, is that, as I mentioned earlier, our new catalog will come... <laughs> Sorry, I just saw Debbie's comment. Very cute. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, so uh, we all are all very excited to see what the new catalog has to hold um, when it comes out in June, the Stampin' Up! catalog. Um, so Stampin' Up! is teasing us a bit by giving us a little bit of an early sneak peek and early release of one of the suites, the Ornate Garden Suite. So um, we're actually able, even though the catalog doesn't go live till June, we're able to order products from this suite now, starting now until um, I guess it goes live. So, so uh, here's what's in, you know, you can buy them individually, you can buy them in bundles, you can buy the whole suite. Okay, so there, I just wanted to give you a look of some of the products in that suite. So when you're, if you're looking for something new, and something fun um, this is a great suite and I also have a special going on those of you who are on team stick um, I've emailed you already 90 tutorials using this suite so you'll have no shortage of ideas um, and those of you who are my Stampin' for Fun Club members um, I also will share those 90 tutorials with you now if you want to see those tutorials um, from this suite um, if you're not in those two previous groups of being a club member or, or one of my team, team stick stampers, then you can still get the tutorials just by um, ordering things from the Ornate Garden Suite. So it, I have four bundles of tutorials. If you get all four of them, um, you actually get 90 tutorials all together. So if you place a $25 order of products from the Ornate Garden Suite, I will give you um, one bundle tutorial and then which has about I think 22 tutorials in it and then if if you order $50 worth of product from this suite then you'll get two um, $75 worth from this suite you'll get three ornate garden tutorial bundles and then if you spend um, four uh, sorry $100 or more of product from this suite then you'll get the fourth uh, tutorial bundle Okay, so that's just a little special that I'm offering. So if you want to see some of those products in action, here's a few. Okay. Um, there we go. I think I should play more with it. I did manage to do a few, but there is a few more. Okay, so that gives you an idea of that suite. So that's another great option that's available right now. Okay, so let me flip the camera around so that I can um, say a proper farewell and just see if you have any questions. Okay. Sorry if I make you dizzy when I flip the camera around. 
Okay. Oh, I'm glad you love them. I'm glad we could connect. Thank you for tuning in with me on Tuesday afternoon. And I'll see you right back here next week on Tuesday afternoon, 2 p.m. Um, for another um, project using the Witticism stamp set. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye for now.